Ah! 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 Oh god, too many mods! What the hell? Why is there smoke everywhere? Oh god. Oh god, I think I installed too much, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Teardown. I don't even know who's attacking me right now. I just wanted to look at this house, but I've clearly enabled too many things. Why is everything shaking? There's guns going off. It's bad outside. It's okay, I have whatever the hell this thing is. I, I should be able to defend myself. I don't even think there's anything here. I think it's just all aerial attacks. This is so cool. What does this do? Nothing. That that hardly did. What what? The, what the hell is this? All right. Well, yes. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. As per usual, we're gonna be checking out some more mods today. Evidently, there's a war going on inside my head. I think because I haven't seen any other people around. Oh, so it's lava. That's cool. Um, I should probably figure out what mods I have enabled because I don't think we want this the whole time. I feel like war was probably the thing. What the hell is whirly balls? <laughs> so I've been slowly just installing mods over the months that I haven't played. And I know nothing about any of this. I'm kind of excited to play this way. Oh, in the sweet silence of no more wars. This is great. I also loaded in the wrong house at the start. So this is the house I actually wanted to check out. Maybe by the same creator, we'll definitely go check out the other one too. But this is his newest one. And I just love hyper detailed structures. The thing is, this is like, when I say detailed, it is very detailed. I'm hoping I can find something here. Um, you can see there's definitely scaffolding and whatnot. So that's cool. Uh, but it gets cooler than that. There's an HVAC system. There's even plumbing you can destroy. I found the plumbing. Also, it looks like the destruction is different. I'm, this might be a different mod on, but it's definitely crumbling uh, different than I'm used to. Oh yeah, I just I just broke the electrical system and I think all the power went out. Yeah, so I can't turn on any lights now because I destroyed the power. Oh, we even got vehicles in here. Oh, this is great. It's good to be back. I don't know why it's been so long since I last played. Please tell me this is... Oh my God, the, the realism. Please tell me I can squirt it if I didn't destroy the system. Let's find out. Oh my God, I'm, it's just too heavy to lift. Does this thing actually work? It does. It looks like it does. Oh God, this whole episode is going to be me nerding out about this house. So yeah, now obviously this works. I wanted to see, is this powered? How do I, oh, it is probably this, right? Nope, damn it. So I can drag it. It definitely works somewhere, I think. Uh, I just had to manhandle it, unless it is manual. Now the big question, does this squirt? I'm sad now. All right, but obviously the main reason why I like to go to these highly detailed homes is for the destruction. We got a bunker buster. That seems fun, oh God. Um, I haven't used any of these, so, oh, I have to confirm it. Yes, that is definitely where I wanted to go. Bust it, baby. Uh, okay, here it comes. Oh. Okay, that was a bit off. Just a little bit off, but that was super satisfying. I also love that the shell did that destruction over there. It wasn't even the explosion. The explosion just destroyed the front yard, and my god, did it ever destroy it. We got like a an eight-foot hole here. Okay, let's try that again inside the home. Mode Bunker Buster Direct Attack Cluster. I wanted to see if it actually works like a Bunker Buster. If you don't know, Bunker Busters, they're designed to go through, well, a topsoil of some sort, a bridge, a bunker, whatever it may be, and then explode on the inside. So we kind of missed our attack there. Let's see if this is a bit better this time. And there it comes. And that is much more like it. Doesn't seem very bad from the outside, but as you can tell by the lag, I think we did a great job on the inside. Yeah, there is the basement down there. So we'll try direct attack, see what the difference is. I'm just curious, because this is a really cool mod. It's probably going to be somewhat similar. They all come in from that side. Ooh. Okay, so it seemed to explode the moment on impact. So you can kind of see the difference there. Obviously, the top of the house got absolutely destroyed there. Uh, but yeah, the bottom, I mean, I was going to say it's okay. It's definitely not okay, but it's a lot better. And well, cluster, I think we know what a cluster is. I'm curious to see. I wish you could change the direction, the way the missile came in, because it's always coming in from over there. It'd be cool if we could do a direct attack. I feel like bunker busters are supposed to be do direct attacks. Uh, but yeah, we'll see what this cluster is all about. I'm assuming like the other, but more spread out. A shotgun missile, if you will. And here it comes, and... Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God, my tree. Oh, that might be disastrous. We have to go check the backyard when this lag subsides a bit. <laughs> Ow! What? God damn, that's dangerous. I can't believe I survived that. I pretty much had no health. There's still explosions going around. Can I get my vision back, please? 
All right, it's got to be real bad back here. I, I I, mean, I lag in this game. It's normal to lag in a game, especially like this one when it comes to modding, but uh, usually not this bad. I thought it'd be a lot worse when it comes to ground deformation, but there is the majority of it. I'm so sorry about this frame rate, guys. Uh, yeah, that is actually a pretty big hole. Now that I can see it, let's actually go down just to see the actual scale of it. Oh, it actually goes through the damn map. Okay, now we're at 20 Oak Street, the one that we started with. Uh, I thought we'd check out this house too because it's made by the same creator. And with this time stick, you can actually like take back the layer so you can see the detail here. I was hoping, yes, there we go. To see the electrical and whatnot in the walls. That is so cool. And like there's actually framing here, as you can see, even in the attic and whatnot. So the destruction of these homes is why I like this so much. It truly is just fantastic to destroy. Oh, yeah, that's cool. We have throwing knives now, and they're actually... Ah! Pro projectile base, so sometimes they stick in, sometimes they don't. I love weird weapons like this, because they're super satisfying to use. There we go. St put that one right through the tree. Always need a brick to break some windows with. There we go. <laughs> I think we already saw this one. Yep, I remember this. Oh, it seems like my recoil is different, though. I don't know if that's a different mod or whatnot, but always satisfying to have a big gun. The hell's an everything revolver uh press tab to reload oh <laughs> do i choose oh this is so cool i can choose i want a bounce pad let's get some acid this is so freaking cool and what else do we want kinetic shy what what, what would a shy round do wait what, what what is going on with my rounds why are they resetting no, all right, I, I guess I just have to put them in quick. There, I think we're good. I don't know what any of these rounds do. We'll find out. Woo! This is, this is, this is the coolest gun ever. I don't even remember what any of these rounds do. I wish it said them. That one just pushed me ahead. <laughs> I think that's the poison one. Oh, that's good. <laughs> it's pinging off of everything. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, this is dangerous. I don't know what any of these things do. I think this is the water one. What are you doing? Go. Go. Chew. It just laughed at me and then attacked. What was that? Oh, it was the shy one, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I gotta try some weird ones. Gray field, boomerang, magnetic, explosive, of course, cannonball. All right, there we go. There's a bunch of good ones. This is so fun. Oh, it says at the top I should read. All right, so this suspends objects inside of it. Oh, so wait, if I shoot now, <gasps> then everything is just... Ah! I shouldn't have shot that one. Wow, why did my gun change? My gun changed. That, that was so... What? What? Oh, that, that was supposed to happen. <laughs> I dropped my gun. So I don't think any of these shots are going to work in this zone. Uh, I guess they kind of do. But yeah, everything is floating. This is so cool. Okay, there's obviously a lot more we can do with this, but I don't want the whole episode... Whoa, I can zoom in with this one. Uh, I don't want the whole episode to be about some guns. So we have a twin rail gun. I, that doesn't seem to be working. Yeah, I'm going to assume that one might be broke. I could be doing something wrong, too. Again, there's a lot of uh, things I have. We have the trench gun. I think we've already saw that. Dragon's Breath shotgun. That sounds fun. Oh. Oh, the sparks. That is satisfying. Yeah, that just spreads fire, man. Dude, shotguns are still one of the coolest things in this game, especially with this effect. This is just super satisfying. What else? Let's just get through a bunch of them. We got the Type 100. Looks to be a generic gun uh we have laggy gun here is this, is this meant to look like old school <laughs> we have this super satisfying blade here uh we've seen things like this before this one seems to be much faster though what the oh yeah i've already seen this i don't really know oh i can charge it okay charging i mean this thing's already totally destroyed but overcharge warning i'm holding i'm holding okay i i should have listen to it oh my god the lag all right so let's try that again but not die because i want to see how destructive this is so it will warn me and i'll just shoot when it warns me there we go and i mean yeah the fire's cool i was hoping for a bit of an explodey though um so yeah that's a bit of a letdown the glue on plasma diffuser still one of my favorite weapons just look at this serious destruction of this thing uh and then we get a lot of the old things key fob i don't know what this is for <laughs> Oh, we just have a Russian gun. Uh, oh, a power washer. Hold on. Hold on. This could be of good use right now. It is not power washing enough. That is for damn sure. Is it even working? I don't think it's working. Well, the power washer is a bit of a letdown. 
But yeah, this one is just Russian writing. So I don't know. Is this what, what even it? What? The, oh my God. I'm Spider-Man. 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 <laughs> I haven't seen a web slinger in so long in this game and they've always sucked. This one actually is pretty good. I want to go to like a city map and try it out. What did I just load into? Oh my God. Like some, some of these mods are getting insane. They have introductions to them. I just wanted a city. All right. So we'll do, there's a campaign here in, in a mod. I think I'll just do the sandbox right now. I just wanted to be Spider-Man, man. Okay, this feels very fitting. We're in some sort of Russian town with the Russian Spider-Man web slinger thing. It's time to be Russian Spider-Man, baby. This is all I wanted in my life. Okay, I'm pretty bad at it still, but hold on. I just have to get my uh, web skills here. Uh, we got people ha hanging out outside. Hello, everybody. Are you not impressed by Spider-Man? Is there anything else this can do? I think this is all it does, but it's all it needs to do. You always need some sort of web slinging utility in games like this. We have the hook shotgun. Seen that? Okay, chill. Jeez, that's a bit laggy. Combine auto gun. Oh, God. Oh, yes. Hello, people. Oh, did I actually miss? Didn't now. All right, we have enhanced airstrikes, too. So this is one of the OGs in the game, but I guess it's been enhanced now. So you can just hold. And wherever you aim, there'll be a gunner. You can see him up there. You can actually go to this view as well if you want to and shoot this way. Still one of the coolest things. Uh, change ammo type. We'll just try a bunch of the ammos. Not really sure what has changed. It definitely feels a little better. You can see the bullet drop now. I don't think it had bullet drop before. Can you go back to the... Oh, there's a town over here. Okay, we'll just destroy this town. We got whatever that was. That was the 105 mil. Oh, yeah. It's definitely... You can follow the um, shots way better now. This is so cool, actually. And then we'll change to the big boy, the LTM. And we'll see how that does right now. There we go. Now we're experiencing a bit of lag. As to be expected when you're destroying whole buildings in one shot. But don't worry if weapons aren't your thing. Well, now you have a fish car that, bl that blows bubbles. How exciting. As a fish car should... You can... Oh, I thought it would go underwater, honestly. Um, that doesn't make much sense. You, sh you should have made it lo look like a boat or something if that was the case. This is literally it, by the way. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's cool. Not really sure why people mod the things that they do, though. This thing's great. Ah, well, I like the music. And it's always a good day when the objective is to grab mac and cheese. Welcome to a little map called 38 Seconds, ladies and gentlemen. The recent modding... Uh, contest was about 38 and this was the winner. I know nothing about this so we'll see what happens and see if we can deal with this. So I gotta grab mac and cheese. Is that, is that mac and cheese? Well I grabbed it and it says put it in the microwave now. So okay there we go. Yes delicious. Use it. And, and as to be expected it takes 38 seconds. Oh my god the slow zoom and it's great. Are you having as fun of a time as I am? We literally have to wait here for 38 seconds. At least you can see the mac and cheese spinning there. It's literally just a flat image of mac and cheese. It looks like it's put the wrong way, though. If this is going to be the whole modern map, I'm going to be so mad because this is the winner. So <laughs> I really hope it's not just me microwaving mac and cheese. All right, we have made some mac and cheese. Of course, now we have to eat said mac and cheese and go to sleep. Sounds like every normal Tuesday for me. All right, so where the hell do I sleep? Oh, the bed. That, that checks out. Okay. Good night, everybody. Hello? Oh, God. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> okay. Well, this is where it's going to get interesting. Oh. <laughs> All right. This is where it's getting clearly weird. We're in, we're truly in the back rooms of Teardown now. What is that? Okay. So, we it's some sort of puzzle now, obviously. Is there anything we can open? I mean, it's obviously has to do with them. Oh, God. Okay. Whoa. Ow. Jesus. Where am I now? This is so cool. Okay, well, totally normal day. I just crashed into a bush and now, oh God, I, this is this is time-based. Okay, hold on, hold on. We have to rush. We must rush. Uh, That auto got me out of the car. This is so well designed. Okay, so I think I get it now. This is time-based and we have to find all of the microwaves to add time to this. What is this? Um, dreams, Dr dr dreams, something dreams. Hello? Okay, that's blocked. Endo grind. What the hell is that? Okay, there we go. Do I do it now or do I do it later? I feel like I should hold this time. Nope, I think this will probably move us on. Okay, cool. 
dude the modders in this game truly are next level where am i going now oh now there's just this upside down staircase that works and we're in a whole different world god even the time is changing design this is so cool this is a maze i'm screwed i am absolutely screwed hello giant spade in the sky or whatever the hell you are i think that's where i need to go oh a secret passage look at that yes i actually made it i did a freaking maze in time okay hold on hold on i have to focus i have to focus where's the microwave where's the microwave show me the microwave please okay did i do it did i do it first try that was it i did it first try that was so cool i wish i could have went slower to appreciate everything Ah, uh, I could see why that one won the competition. That was just really trippy. Okay, and for the final mod today, I'm going to show you the one I'm probably most excited about. It's called Tabs, but I thought le legit when I downloaded it, it would be like Totally Accurate Battle Simulator and Teardown. It is not that. It actually stands for Teardown Armor and Ballistic Simulator. It is a total redesign of the vehicle framework to focus on ballistics and armor penetration, of course. So there's this whole menu now. There's, I think, 300 vehicles, they said, already in this. And you can go Cold War, World War II, depending on the different nation. And in every one of those, you have multiple options on what to spawn. It's not just tanks. You can do artillery, for example. Let's spawn in a howitzer here and see what that's all about. So you can drive the vehicle. Uh, I don't really know how this works just yet, so bear with me here, but... The actual ballistics are supposed to be very realistic. You saw the recoil there. That was real nice. Uh, I want to see how the armor penetration works. I want to see how good the armor is on something like a tank. So we'll get the legendary Sherman out. There's, oh God, there's multiple options of Shermans. Who's yelling at me right now? Let's get the, the M4 out. I think that's the most common one. Whoops, sorry. I just destroyed the track accidentally. Damn it. I wanted to see, does this actually have tracks now? Is there actually tracked vehicles in teardown finally? Well, this one's not working because it's been detracked. Guess it's a good tester for close range uh, missile damage. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, that actually blocked that. So there is supposed to be like weak spots and everything. So if you are a fan of, you know, tank armored combat, if you will, uh, this is going to be very, very interesting. And as I said, it truly is insane how many things are in here. We'll spawn in a Lee. I keep doing that. Stop smacking the damn things. Uh, you can zoom in as well, so you can actually, uh, get, I mean, it's gonna be, this is basically a milsim now. This is, this is, this is so cool. You can hear the reloading. It does look like I can change ammo to from AP to HE to AP, HE, A, B, C, D, E, F, I don't know. And it's just so cool to see all these different mods and designs. Uh, this has a little machine gun in it. I think this is still World War II era. But yeah, like, metal actually holds up with these things it would be so cool to do a, a multiplayer war with these there's also bombs in the spawn menu i don't know if this is how you're supposed to do them but you can actually place them and then arm them let's see what happens when i drive this small tracker over that i guess it it saw me and blew up see all the particles though all right let's try a different one maybe i don't know what a teller mine is but let's try that uh it looks to be rather small so now let's see is that one gonna blow up no so if i drive over it it probably will though and we'll see if it can detrack us for example okay i don't know what a teller mine is clearly hello okay took took a second try oh my god that was so cool all right we have to get the legendary tiger we have the mouse in here too okay so we'll do a tiger too uh, i guess we'll do forest camo because we're clearly in a forest right now there we go now we got the big guns out we'll do a small american sherman try and get some role play here uh we'll get the generic sherman again throw this over here this should destroy the little sherman so i want to see for example if we have a high caliber weapon if it will actually destroy it and we actually just exploded it so that probably was an ammo rack so I hit the ammo and it actually combusted. Dude, I am so excited. I'm so glad I came back to tear down because this is so cool. I didn't even spawn this truck over here, but I want to try this one as well. Nice uh, zoom in here. We'll throw some heat on the guy over here. And well, heat didn't really do much at all. All right, let's try this again. And man, it actually doesn't do much damage to those. Those obviously aren't part of this modded pack, though. I think you're supposed to be shooting, well, these. And it's so cool to see actual vehicles with actual treads now. Oh, man, this is... I am so excited to go deeper into Teardown now. I Again, I've intentionally waited for a while just because uh, the modding kind of got stale for a little bit. 
It was all the same thing over and over again, but with things like this, I think Teardown's going to get truly interesting in the near future. I mean, it's already so interesting. There's so much to this game, and there's only more coming every day. So yeah, I definitely want to play with this pack a bit more. Uh, that was just scratching the surface. As I did say, there is over 300 vehicles in this. Uh, so yes, I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but it is super fun. And uh, I'm just having a blast playing this game again. So as per usual, if you do want to check out any of the mods that you saw in this episode, I'll have links in the description. And yeah, thanks so much for watching and liking, guys. I'll see you in the next one.